Okay, thanks everybody for being here. Welcome back to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and we're going to go back to working some more in Mythomorphia. And if y'all had not heard, this is his last Morphia book. Kirby Rosanna's, Rosanna's. Um, this is his last myth, his last Morphia book. We have Anamorphia, Imagimorphia, Mythmorph, Mythomorphia. And uh, so he said he's moving on to some other art adventures. And so, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start with, I'm going to work in the werewolf. I have some different pages in different stages. This one's done. That one's not. I have some backgrounds started on a few washes of acrylic paint on the backgrounds. We have, this one is finished the dragon and I posted pictures of this one and yeah so we're gonna start on this one so so far in my head I imagine that the background is black the bats I'll start with like um, shading them in in gray and then some you know uh, what do you call it uh, oh good Kmore and um, some sh shading with black so that the bats are black and gray because look there's a lot of them so I'm going to leave it this far zoomed out for now while I do the, um, I'm going to need another brush, I think. While I do the background, let's see, ah, oh, here we go. And I'm just going to start with a small little flat brush here. And I have black paint. And the paint I always use is just DecoArt Americana, or Americana pa Craft Paint by DecoArt. And uh, no one sponsors me or anything. It's just my favorite craft paint. And um, you liked the dotted background, Aussie? Okay, good. Thanks. So now I'm going to start in the center here where the, in the ditch. And I'm just going to start painting the whole background black. And again, if y'all see me do the demo, a Y. Okay, i got to move my iPad out of here. <laughs> I'm somehow I'm included in a conversation. I got included in a Twitter conversation, so every time they tweet, it's my name's attached to it. Um, so, well, how that if you have a black, if you have a, a acrylic wash or an acrylic base, that your color pencils can do awesome things over the top. So right now it's going to take a little bit. I don't know how long and how much patience you ha you all have. If you're watching this on YouTube and it's going too slow for you because of the time it takes to do this, just fast forward, click, 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 <laughs> to uh, where you want to pick it up again. So, and I don't know how far we'll get. I might just do half the top and then do the bottom later or just kind of base it in. But this is when I have a flat black background. There's no water in the paint. It's not a wash. Like this is a wash. See how that's see-through and it looks kind of watercolory? That's a wash. And somebody did ask me on a, a, a comment I haven't had a chance to answer yet on a YouTube. How What's the ratio of water to paint? And it's just the ratio, so you can see, there's more water here than here. It's kind of like a mix so that it has a modeled look. It's not a flat wash, although you can do that too. Um, the, the idea, though, of a wash is just to have it thin enough. You have to have it thin enough, enough water, so that you can still see the color book images behind, see? right here this is so there's no water in this and and uh, if I went over anything what whatever color without it being a wash you would not see the images behind so you have to water it down enough to see the images behind oh that's the bat there lost track of where I was with the chat okay so Okay, and my and it does get a little dry. I I I, I um, dampen my brush every now and then, and here's the paint I'm using, because um, my it dries out under the lights real quick here. So I'm just gonna kind of pick it. Now you don't have to do 
you know, I like to just go in there and find all the whites where it would be the background. But you could also get in there with pencil if you know you're not going to put anything on top of it. But if you just go in there with pencil in the background, you're not going to be able to put in, I mean, um, yeah. If you just go in there with black pencil in the background, you won't be able to put white pencil on top of it and get that pure white back. But with black acrylic paint, you can go back on top of this with white pencil and get it completely white again. When you say mottled, well, yeah, you know what I mean. Marbly like, I don't know, Maryland. <laughs> and I do kind of speed along here. But when you're doing it, don't feel like you have to go, the, you know, you don't have to hurry it along. You can take, you know, more time. It also depends on the color. Yeah, and some paints are more translucent. I've said that before. Um, red, yellow, lime green. Uh, certain colors are more translucent th than others. But even with the most translucent colors... You're going to have to add water because they're still, if they're thick enough right out of the bottle to cover up your lines, your color book lines. But the difference being is when you go to do a background and you want a flat color, if you want to say a flat lime green, you'll probably have to put two coats because it's translucent if you want a flat color. And you got to kind of keep up with all the different edges. Like there's lots of edges here with these bats. And I don't want to lose any of their little wings. So I'm kind of... So my idea is, though, to have a black background, gray bats, and maybe a red glow in the background and also I see I have a card stock here so that way I can paint right off the edge or right up to the edge plus it's always a good idea to have card stock behind your page anyway because when you put pressure with pencils you're digging into the paper somewhat you know of course depends on how heavy-handed you are some pages took me yeah and they can they can take a while to do the background depending on how much detail you're painting around that's why I said I don't know that I'll do the whole the whole thing here because uh, I want to do the bats and um, and the red glow at least get that far and I don't know if again I never know if Joyce is streaming on Wednesday till like the last minute or something um, Yeah, it can take a long time to do the backgrounds. Again, you know, take your time. When I did the dragon, this dragon right here, i got to be careful not to close that. Here, this this page here, and again, it's a little flashed out because I, I have it brighter for this. Um, this took, I'm guessing, because I didn't work on it solid, but I came back and I left and came back and left and worked on it over a couple of days. That's why it's not a recording for that one. Because um, I didn't work on it steady. I worked on it in between company and, and, and the holidays and, and uh, all that. And uh, I, I would guess it took me about five hours. And that's probably fast to most of y'all. You know, think, But a lot of it was done with paint. Yeah, I enjoy it too. Yeah, if you don't enjoy it and you don't like the time it takes to do it, you know, that's true, Erin. You gotta like, you want to like it. You want to enjoy it. That's why you want to have book a book you like. You want to have the theme you like. Like I don't like doing um, coloring mandalas, mandalas, because it's too repetitive for me. But then look at how Vicky, Vicky Br. Oh my gosh. And um, Julie Topaz, they are awesome, awesome 
at them. I, I, I just, it's too repetitious for me. And it does take a little bit more perfection in those because your lines and everything have to be, you know, the same and just right. So that's a little more, it's more tedious and more, if you are if you are a perfectionist, the mandala is the way to go. And, oh, speaking of, I haven't checked it out yet, but Barb, Barb, are you here? You and the boys? I don't know if she's sitting right there. She's AFK. But Barb, I think, has her books. She has mandala color books out. She had them out for a while, or she did some new ones. Is that right, Barb? Did you do some new ones, or are they reprints of the first ones, or reissue, or what? But we have to link up our Barb. If Barb's here, um, one of y'all can open links so Barb can post her color book uh, link. I just happened to go through YouTube and I saw a link to it. But I didn't go, so. But, yeah. Maybe I should zoom in a little. Well, I don't know. Then you can't see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Barb, can you, uh, somebody open links for Barb so she can post a link to her. I saw, I think you have three. Is it three mandala color books, Barb? Am I, or am I missing something? Barb Owen, if y'all don't watch Barb, she's on YouTube. And uh, she has, she has classes and all kinds of creativity, creative classes and stuff. Barb is real good free book on has a all right so Vicky S said that Barb has a free book on her website one new book one free book first one reprinted with additional patterns well I think links should be open Barb can you post a link I think Barb's site is how to get creative if I'm not mistaken when somebody posts it I'll I'll re read it again. So yeah, y'all check out check out our barb, or as we like to say here, peruse the awesomeness. <laughs> I just don't like saying check it out because everybody says that. We have to have new, you know, new, uh, de not definitions, new uh, adjectives. Peruse the awesomeness that is barb. Yeah. Got ink tints directly and it'll leave a lot of water. That's about it. You have you just ink tints on here, Aaron? Okay, I'm trying to get these big spots here. The first, and I'm trying to watch chat too. Our links. Let me. Uh, okay, links are open now. The mod mods you can always open links. Okay, why am I, where's my peeps? Where's my chat? Okay, I, I turned them on, then somebody turned it back off. Okay, hang on, guys. I lost my chat. One moment. Let me see what's going on here. Main chat. There it goes. Okay. There we go. How to get creative.com. All one word. Yeah, so y'all. Thanks, guys. How to get creative .com with Barb Owen, and she does live streaming every Friday. I usually don't make them because of the, I watch the recordings, but I usually don't make the live show. But she's on Friday at two Eastern. Thanks, Janet. I'm usually too early for Barb, and, and Barb's at the wrong time for me. Fridays Fridays are really busy for me. That's why I never say I, for sure I can stream on Friday mornings. I do an occasional Friday morning stream. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here and kind of go over here. I'm trying to look at where his body kind of blends and where the bats begin. It's a little tricky to look in there and see. You might, you might, some of it's a little bit of a guess and again I say this all the time Kirby or who, whomever <laughs> um, color book you're coloring in they're not going to email you and tell you you did it wrong <laughs> 
if you paint over one little bat, trust me, Kirby is not going to call you out. <laughs> <laughs> so don't don't be a fretting over that <laughs> oh no I painted over a bat <laughs> okay so I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going to go with those yet I might start painting I, I might start coloring some of the bats first and that's a tree trunk behind there and then this is going to come down into right in here sometimes I'll just kind of mark it <laughs> you know. hi Diane good to see you anybody else popping in thanks for being here If you have questions, put them in caps so I know you're talking to me because the chat does roll by pretty fast. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks guys over there. I know sometimes, you know, when I'm just chatting here and you're watching, it may think you're not as, it's it's not as uh, fun as if you're here. <laughs> so, you know, if it gets tedious watching me just color one thing, just fast forward it to um, where you want. But although... You know, sometimes we're talking about people and you might want to hear it. <laughs> uh, everybody over here is really nice. If you have not had a chance to be at our live show, try to come over sometime. I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern. And the occasional Friday that I just call those impromptus because I never can really plan those. Let me make sure I got a paper here to go off the edge. But it's fun to be in the live chat. All right, I, got, I said I wasn't going to go all the way down on this side. Maybe I'll just go to off the edge. So I don't have to worry about having paint go over the edge. Get around this tree limb. So again, let's just go let's just go right to the edge here. I don't know if I want the I guess the dirt, maybe I'll do that a different color, so I'll, I'll just leave that. All right, so let's go on this side. Oh, wait. Let's come back up here at the top. Get in here. Got to kind of make it up in the, in the ditch because, you know, there's a space. But this is the nice thing about the paint. If you paint something with these uh, spaces in there, in the ditch, you can get right in there with a the paintbrush where you can't really get in there very easily with a pencil. At least not with really any control. Where uh, with paint, you can just, you know, get in there. still have a little water in my brush from when I... Dabbed it off. Okay, so that didn't take too long. That took, what, about 15 minutes to do that? And I was kind of hurrying, so. But it didn't take that long. Now, you know, I still have down here. There's not that much, really. All right, it's kind of big spaces. I'm going to go for it. Let's just go ahead and go for it. So I just work in different, you know, I do try to get enough done on a page where you can get some ideas. And uh, like the snow page, we didn't complete it, but we got enough done where it's like now it's just all the same stuff. Like I got the mountains, the snow, the trees. So you can see enough of how far we got that you have the whole idea how to do it. 
Not that you have to do it exactly the same, of course. Do you any idea how many color books? Oh gosh, I have no idea, Terry. No idea. I haven't counted them. I have a stack of like, I'd say about eight that I'm working in right now. Eight different books that I work in a little here and there. But, you know, I gotta keep up with my portraits too, so I can't just color all day. <laughs> hey Sherry yes we were talking about that Sherry alright so this I think I want behind this tree to be black and then the dirt down here I'll do another color because I want to um, I want red a kind of a red glow okay let's come right into here Yeah. So, yeah, we were talking about that Kirby said that he's going to take, you know, he's not going to do any more. I mean, you never say never, and I don't think he would either. But for now, he's not doing any more Morphia books. He's going to move on to some other things in his art. Because he's been doing this for a long time. I mean, he probably, I, I don't know. I think he would be bored with, well, I never like to say bored either. Uh, but, you know, he wants to probably grow in other areas and not just do color books forever. So hopefully he's made some good money off the color books where he can pursue more um, different artistic adventures. Bye, Marilyn. Sleep well. Thank you. Thanks for all your help. Appreciate it a lot. Let's see a little tree space there. Color all day sounds like retirement vision you have in your head. Well, you know, I mean, I art all day, but I have to do my portrait commissions too. If I did everything for free, my family, well, y'all know, a couple years ago, they said, uh, you're doing too much free stuff. <laughs> so, I got back to doing more, more commissions, more portraits. But, you know, I like doing all this for free for you guys. Alright, so there we go. See how cool that looks? Look at the difference right there. And now he's really, he's really standing out. See how you can really see him? All right, let's see. Let's get a little bit more in the tree there. A little trunk. Okay. All right, now I'm going to kind of move over on this side. Make sure that's not, it's a little wet there. I don't want to put my hand on that. Let me hit it with the heat gun, guys, so I don't uh, smear it. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's coming along. It just looks good when you, you know, stand back with all the black. I, I got to keep adding a little bit of water to my brush. I'm not adding, try not to add any water to the paint, but my brush is getting crusty. Sometimes you just got to stop and clean your brush. That's probably a good idea. Let me just do that. Because the dry paint starts building up on your brush. And plus it's under these lights, so it's drying out really fast. But I don't want it watered down. I just want my brush damp. Thanks, Terry Trouble. I love how it changes. I know, right? I know. I can't wait for you to get it, too. But, you know, I've done plenty of other black backgrounds. You know, and stars, planets. And I try to, I always like to add my own stuff. Don't think that because there's nothing there that you can't add it yourself. 
again, you're the boss of your color book. <laughs> Kirby's not going to email you and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why'd you put that shooting star in my book? I didn't draw that. <laughs> He's not going to do that. <laughs> None of the artists will. <laughs> so, you know, make it your own. Make it, you know, if you, like I said, if you accidentally paint over a bat, you know, so what? <laughs> or if there's a lot of little dotted stars or like even the snow and the snow scene, just paint over it and put your own back in. Thanks, Diana. All right, so here we go. We've got a nice big area here. I mean, there's even been times where I, you know, well, y'all know I've cut things out of color books and put them in journals. And, um, also taken color book pages and added collage to them. I tear my pages out of my books if they're eight and a half by 11 one-sided books. Like all my, um... Bennett Kleins, I tear those out of those books and put them in a binder. Same for my Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I know some people freak out, oh my gosh, you tore your pages out of your Jasmine book. But I will look at them more, much more, by Fancy Lime. I'll look at them much more in my binder than I would getting the books back out. But then there's some books that are like double-sided, like these like the Imagimorphia, and they're like 10 by 10 or something like that. So they wouldn't fit in the in the 8.5 by 11 binder. Now, I do have some binders that are 12, you know, 12 by 12. Um, but I don't mind tearing things out as long as it's not like a double-sided or a story. Like, um, like I use Game of Thrones as an example. You know, it's a whole complete story color book, so I wouldn't cut those, tear those out unless... I really did a whole bunch in there, a whole bunch of coloring, and then uh, I would just like tear it all, the whole book apart, and have its own binder, like a 12 by 12 binder. So if you really love a book that much, the Sherlock Holmes, the, uh, I'm trying to think of what other ones, like the uh, Game of Thrones, and there's a whole bunch of them like that, that are like whole stories and everything and if you really love those then I would I would dedicate a whole like binder to to it because when you color you, you I mean this one's already getting puffy you know they're going to get puffy they're going to get fluffy <laughs> with the, especially if you add paint now if you just add just pencil then it's probably not a, a, as much of an issue I'm going to get my moon there a little rounded um But don't be afraid to tear your pages out and put them in a book. Because I find that I look at my Jasmine pages and my Bennett Klein pages much more when they're in the binder than digging out those color books, you know, the books themselves. You do two button like to tear them out? Yeah. Like I said, I want to at least get this done and then maybe show some of the bats and some of the red. I want like a red kind of glow coming off of it. You practice with a cheap color book and black paint and love the effect. Yeah. I like it too. But then again, I like to add stars and planets and all kinds of things. You know. I see where I got my brush a little too much water, and I'm seeing in some places I can see where I had water in my brush, so it's I can see it's not flat black, so I have to kind of go back over it. 
Okay, let's come down the edge here. Like this. And I'm just kind of scruffing it in. You know, I'm not like necessarily just painting like that. I'm just kind of taking the brush and kind of sc scrubbing it in. Because I just buy cheap brushes. Jean gave me her first travel. Traveling back home tweet. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, we like to hear when Jean's on the road. We all watch out for her. Although she probably watches out for us more than we do her. And Yeah, we keep up with her on the road. So anyway, I just use like Michael's Hobby Lobby. Now my my um, liner brushes. These are these are the Master Touch ones from Hobby Lobby, and they're these can run you about five to eight dollars. But I always buy them forty percent off. Uh, but for the most part, these kind of brushes they just come in packs. Like I got tons of these. This, I got this, two, double this, double this, and, and they're no, eight bucks at Michael's for this and this many more. And I had a, and they were 50% off, or I had a 50% coupon, so I got this many and this many more for $4. Now they're not going to last you forever, and if you're going to do professional water coloring or something like that, you're going to want specific brushes that are, you know, like hold water and are floppy or or, you know, can be stiff and fly, you know, they're made for watercolor and stuff like that. But just for color books like this and just playing with acrylic craft paint, these are just fine for me. Just fine. i got to kind of water that down. This has got a crust over it already because of the light. If you, yes, if y'all uh, want to talk to me, put it in caps, please. Because uh, the chat rolls by pretty fast, and I can't just stare at chatter. I wouldn't get any coloring done. <laughs> so. Alrighty. I just want to kind of get this last bit here. So anyway, what I was saying is I'm kind of scruffing it in. Kind of scrubbing it in. Do we see the other side of the page? No, it doesn't go through. It's not bleeding through at all. None. That black right there is on, that's printed on that page. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's just printed. You know, the, the shadows. So, no, it's not going through at all. You know, even with the thinnest books, even my Bennett Klein books that are like copy paper thin, Never have a problem with them. I, there's not a lot of... I don't oversaturate it. That's the trick. It's the water that, that goes through, not the paint. And right now, there's literally, you know, other than a damp brush, there's no water in this paint. You're probably not supposed to pour your, <laughs> your watered down paint down the drain. Yeah, you could throw it out in your grass. <laughs> I mean, it's non-toxic. This these craft paints are non-toxic. Now, if you're using, you know, uh, artist grade paints that have uh, certain chemicals or stuff, and you gotta probably be more careful. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, you know where I found them though, Car uh, Carol Renee. They weren't with the brushes. Where I found those $8 sets, and, and this was a couple weeks ago, so I don't even know if they're still there. On one of the end caps, you know, the, the, the edges of the, the rows, an end cap. In the wood section, down where you buy the wood, the blank wood to paint, that's where I found them. They were down there. They're talking about my sets of brushes where they were eight, normally $8. That's where they were at Michael's.
so again if you want to make sure that it's a flat color just kind of scrub it in now you got to kind of go along the edges smooth but Getting there, getting there, moving along. And I know people always go, well, when are you going to finish that page? Or when are you going to work on that one again? You know, it's, it's, if I just went, and I've done it before, like with the Bennett Klein Oh Dear one, we did a 10 part, 10 parts on that one. But then there's so many color books and people go, well, when are you going to get back to that one? Or when are you going to do that one? You know, it's hard, guys. It really is to, you know, finish 100% one page on stream. I mean, even if I stayed here all day, I'd get maybe one page done all day long. And, you know, I can't stay all day. <laughs> I mean, I do sometimes, but not, can't do it every time. But uh, let me do this little section here, and then I'll show you the Oh Dear Bennett Klein again. Because that one, we did like 10 parts. And they're all on YouTube if you want to follow along. So I, I, every now and then I like to do one for everybody to follow along, but yeah. Okay, so, and I still, you know, I have uh, Bennett Klein Wild, Bennett Klein, you know, I still want to do, ugh, there's so many color books, so little time. All right, so let me move the black paper for a minute and clean my brush. See, like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but right here, see how I had a little too much water in my brush? See how it's kind of see-through right there? So I'll just go back over it because I had a little bit too much water in my brush right there. So it's no big deal. Sometimes certain colors you'll have to, like I said, lime green, 100 part minimum. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Aaron. Okay, let's see. Um, let me get my color book notebook. So again, this is my color book notebook. Let me move this because it's still damp. And here's my oh dear. So I'll take it out of the plastic so it's not glare. So this one we did, I'm trying to kind of get it so it doesn't flash out. Right about there is a true color. That's flashed out. So right about there. This took 10 parts to do. We did every little tiny thing real slow. And this is 100% pencil if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there was any... Well, this is black acrylic paint on the edge, but I don't think there was any paint in any of this. I think it was all pencil, if I remember correctly. 100% pencil. Oh, thanks, Button. I appreciate it. So, yeah, so like I said, so here's my, and I'm just going to do a quick flip real quick. These are my Bennett Kleins here, 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 here. And then some, this is like, I love this one. This one doesn't have a video, because again, this is one I just did off and on for a couple of days, but I love this. And, oh, here's a good example. See how the white pencil is on top of the black paint? You can get that smoky effect because it's on top of acrylic paint. I added my own planets, my own shooting stars. I added all this, all that. Uh, added this, added that, added that. And Bennett Klein it did not email me and tell me not to do that. <laughs> and then I write on the back which book it's out of. This one was all done with just white pencil and some white Posca. I printed it out on brown craft paper. Thanks, guys. And then this one is my Doodlers Anonymous pages. Yes, I took them out of the book. <laughs> so you can see, again, the, I added all this water. That wasn't there. That water wasn't there. This rain added that. So, yeah. And then these are, this is from the Sketchy Challenge. This is just some random pages. I added my own, painted my own little emu 
added collage into a color book page. Then let's see, there's just some random ones here as well. And then, uh, then here's my jasmine pages. And later on, when I get down to getting more and more done in Jasmine's, uh, or at Bennett Klein's as well, I'll put the covers, like after I'm tearing the pages out. Thanks, Kingor. Um, like, let me get a Jasmine for an example. Um, where is she? Where's my Jasmine? Hang on, where'd I put her? I'm not seeing her right now. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll just take the cover off and make that like the divider. So these are my jasmine pages. And then some have stickles, like we talked about that, you know, adding stickles or, you know, a glitter glue or something to it. But just make sure that if you do add stickles, see like there's our hair. Um, if you add stickles or glitter or anything to it, if you do it in a color book, make sure it's nice and flat because when you go to color the back side, it's going to be bumpy if you're not careful. So you have to um, make sure that you don't have a bumpy page on the reverse side, right? And see, same for this girl. This is just a little rabbit trail here to break up the monotony. <laughs> so stickles on the cupcakes. I had just a tiny bit of stickles in her eyes. Just a dot. So anyway, a little spider. Yeah, I know everybody loves a stick. But again, guys, just remember, keep it thin. Because if you try to color the back side of a page, then the stickles will... Um, I think that's all I have in here. Oh, no, wait. I've got a few more back here. Here's some out of the um, Somerset Studio color, color the studio, or was it called Coloring Studio? Somerset Coloring the Studio. Add my own collage bits to her. This is collage. This is stenciling. Um, these are out of the Coloring Studios. This one we did, that's just Crayola. That's just uh, crayons. We did a whole page with just crayons. And then this one is out of the... i got two here that I never remember the names. Let's take these two out. This one is the Gothic Special Sel Selma Finich. And uh, that one's got um, uh, Wink of Stella on it to shine it up. So there's that one. And then this one's from Dreams of Dragons. And, and it's completely stickled up. There's stickles all over that baby. See? So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, I'll tear them out of a book as long as it's an 8.5 by 11 one-sided page. Um... So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then this one's not done yet. This one is out of that uh, the um, myth um, uh, beast. What is it called? It's out of Manic Botanic. And it's not done yet. But I, I tore it out. I mean, I cut it out to show everybody how I'll cut that out and mount it on a black card stock. But this one needs a little bit more work. But it's monochromatic. It's all in purple and white. But it needs a little bit more shading. So, anyway. So, those are... And that's just the books that are 8.5 by 11. That does include all the other books that are, like, the different sizes, like my Imagine Morphia and, um, you know, all the different ones. All right. So, now I want to go in here with some pencil... And I'm going to put my cardstock back under here just to keep it from denting anything or just to protect it. It's just a good habit to get into. All right, now I'm going to get a, a light gray. Again, I'm just working out of this tray here. <clears throat> and they're all rolling away. Come back to Mama. Come back here. Let's get all the paint brushes out of there. Because these are the colors that we are using. If y'all missed part one of today's, we did a little sketch of a rat for Mad Rat Emma. <laughs> T 
just did a little sketch with some paint and pencil so that's why I have these colors out but now we're gonna put those away except for black and white and uh, I don't even notice those <laughs> you don't notice any missing bats good wood at okay so let's see I think I'll just take a this is just a, a warm gray, I don't even know, 30, 30%. I don't, I don't really even never, you know, I know people ask me, what color are you using? I have to really remind myself to say, because I just go by the color. <laughs> I don't even really pay attention to the names, especially in Prismacolor, because, oh, I'm sorry, Deb Colors. Do you even see me chat? Yeah, um, sometimes I miss it. Hey, Kelly Mayo. Thanks, guys. It's it's a little tricky to watch chat, even with the um, even with the caps. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, so we can get a little closer. Let's see here. Mm. All right, I think that'll be good. Looks pretty. focused all right all right so now you can kind of see what we've done so far all right I'm going back over to the bats and so this is how I would do it if nobody was here you know um, I'd find go with all the bats and just put a light coat of gray this gray might be too brown though I think I will go with a cool gray when I see it on here it looks a little it looks too brown and I want I don't want a brown gray I want a cool gray so let me dig here this one will work sharpen Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm just putting a coat of gray over all the bats. Very light, just to get a base coat. And this may be even too light. I might need a, even a darker, one shade darker. Although I could start with this, just to find them all. Because they're going to be dark, but I want, I want to be able to have some light areas like their highlights so again got to get in that little ditch that's where you want to paint in there so I'm just going to put a light coat of gray again not bearing down just a nice light coat base coat of gray and you probably don't even see it uh, you probably can't even see that well maybe a little trying to stay I have to keep moving the book because I'm so zoomed in and then I think I'll look up I want them, I want them to be a brownish wolf I think I don't know if I want like a gray wolf because then he'll look like a winter wolf and I think I want him to look like more like a werewolf like a wolf wolf werewolf werewolf okay so I can see right in here there's a couple places where now I'm gonna go ahead with the pencil in there because I missed it with the paint like I said you know got to kind of search around in some of those tight places to what's background What's not? Bye, Sullen Squid. Good to see you. Sorry I missed seeing you earlier. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, good. Thanks. You can see the gray. Okay, thanks, guys. Okay, here's one little tiny area there.
Then I can get in there. I can see where I, I kind of need a little tightening up from the paint. Just get in there with your pencil. Lots of bats flying through here. Hey, Subin, how you doing? Good to see you. What time is it anyway? Okay, we're, we're good. Woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> I love the movie Young Frankenstein. It's hilarious. Okay, then there's a bird there. I'm not going to do him gray. All right, here's another little piece of... need to be black. It's hilarious. Uh, one more little spot here. And again, if you're not real... Uh, there's like around uh, the, some of these bats I can see I could get real, a little bit tighter with the black right in there because I didn't get right up on certain things with the brush. So I'll just go in there and tighten, you know, sharpen it I should say. Sharpen it up with the, uh, and let me, sh let me, speaking of sharpen, let me sharpen my gray again. And sometimes I'll do that, you know, at the very, you know, after I've got a lot of stuff like all these bats done, I'll get go in here, get them all done, then I'll go back in there with the black and get right up on some of those edges that I might not have got real crisp or real sharp. So they they are going to be black bats, but I you got to have especially if it's a black background and I'm planning on red a glow back in there then I, you know, got to have some highlights to work with. Do you, you know if I'm feeling down or all I have to do is turn on... Oh, thanks, Deb Colors. Thank you. Well, it's not just me. It's everybody here. You know, they, they it's, it's the whole everybody that makes it fun. And that's why we're all happy. <laughs> we're happy to be here, especially on hump day. <laughs> oh, got to stay in the... So, like, I can come in here and I can look and I can see little bits of places that I might need to sharpen it up. But thank you, that's nice. Alright, more bats. Lots of bats. More bats in here. It's very batty. Okay, there's a black space right there. Behind that tree limb. Here's one. Werewolf in London. <laughs> yeah. I know, I like that song too. Have y'all ever seen Blade, Artistic Biker, sing it? It's hilarious. Seems like I'm always missing his show now. I don't know why. It's. Not, I think he was on, was it last night? Tuesday night? And I don't know if he has a regular stream time now. Or I'm just missing them. Anyway. Okay, it looks like that might be some black behind that one. It looks like there's a whole little cluster, bat cluster, right there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it is fun to be here and, and chat with everybody because everybody's very encouraging. And so many streamers in this group. And we all encourage each other. Because that's what it's all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. <laughs> okay, a little bit of tightening up here. I haven't caught Blade Shell. I know, me either, Julie. And it's so funny because Artistic Biker is the first streamer I ever saw. And that's where I met Julie Topaz, Vicky BR. Um, I don't know if I met Carrie and Paula there, but I, I, I think I met Carrie from Paula's show, which was the next show I watched after Artistic 
biker blade. Oh, that's a branch right there. Okay, let's keep going. That's a bird. Here's another bat. Bird, 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 bat. <laughs> hey, BG. Okay, let's get around this one a little better. Right in there. Whoops. Let me move. Let me move my coffee. <laughs> Oh, take care, Diane. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the gray here. Lots of little bats. And he does, in the back of the book, have little write-ups about each um, myth that he's drawn. Okay, another little bit of black here. Are you are the first live stream and watch Diana Dogs? Okay. There's plenty. Look on Carrie's now again I always clarify this. I carry love dot blogspot has a list of streamers, some of which don't stream anymore, some are come and go, um, and so she just put it out there for the, all the ones that she knows have streamed, you know, or stream occasionally or recently. So don't be emailing Carrie and say that one doesn't stream. Just gotta go check them out for yourself. I mean, peruse the awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> I watch streams while I'm working, so, you know, uh, so I can watch and work when I'm not streaming myself, right? Okay, I'm trying to get in here a couple little tighter areas that I missed. Here's one. All right, did I get all the bats? Oh, nope, here's one over here. And I'll probably get a darker gray. So I have the light gray on there now. And then I'll get a darker gray and then black. And kind of, you know, it's going to be a little, you know, tiny in there. Oh, here's another one over here on the edge. But most of the time when I'm doing something like these pages, I try to find all that thing, you know, try to get all that done. Like, I get the background, and I don't always start with the background. Sometimes it's beneficial to do everything and do the background last, because then you cover up anything that you go out of lines, you know? So it depends on what you're going to do. Like, if I do a big wash over something, it might be better to do the background last, because then if you go out of lines with the wash, you can um, cover that up with your background paint. That's true, and streams and streamers are always changing. That's true, Julie. So, but, you know, you get people who go, well, who else streams? And it's, you know, you can tell them, but then they, what if they don't stream that week? Then they say, oh, I thought you said so-and-so streamed that. Well, you know, I can't, if a streamer doesn't stream that day, nothing I can do about it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're just talking about, TNT. To see when they stream, they could put a time they could put a time on their show, but they may not stream that week. Yeah, now if you follow, sometimes that works, Aaron, sometimes it doesn't. I think that sometimes depends on the browser. Aaron was saying um, that if you follow the person, you can get email uh, alerts. Uh, and I think you have to go in there and check off that you want email notification when the person goes live. I try to always tweet uh, when, I go, when I stream. Uh, but then again, if you're not on Twitter, you know, and I think it does depend on the browser sometimes. Let me sharpen my gray again. Um, 
some browsers give you email alerts because I've had people go, I didn't get an email alert. You know, I don't know why. Uh, you know, it's hard to say. So. I'm just kind of looking around for the bats. Exactly, Julie. We have seen a lot of changes since 2010. I th that may be a bat wing or it could be a branch. I don't know. Let's get these bats down here. I got that one. A little black in there. Because I, I think now it's, it's getting close to three years that I've uploaded to YouTube. Two and a half, three years that I've uploaded to YouTube. But, you know, before that, I, I was streaming since like 2010, like Julie said. Been popping in when, hey, Julie McD. <laughs> well, I do stream, I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, okay? Um, and occasionally a Friday, but that's like, I, I just call those almost impromptu because I never know for sure on a Friday. But you can pretty much count on me being here every Wednesday and Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. All right, I'm looking around for any more bats I might have missed. Okay. So I'm going to leave the bats for a minute. And I want to see about a red glow. So I want to see about my, my carmine red, which is kind of almost an orange red. I think it's carmine. Poppy red? No, a poppy red. Poppy red. It's kind of an orange red. Carmine is too, kind of. Is this carmine or is that poppy? Yeah, it's poppy as well. Anyway, poppy red, which is kind of an orange red. I want to see if I can go over, you know, how well it's going to show up. Now, any place that I just put black, black pencil, this is not going to cover, okay? But um, let me do a sample thing. Let me uh, see. There's a little bit of black paint here. Put some black paint on the envelope here. Now I gotta clean my finger off. Okay, let me let me let this dry because I want to test and see if this is the color I want to use. It's always best to have a test something. I think the longest I've streamed, I don't know, I think I did one that was 12 hours. I've not done a 24 hour. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I go to bed early. I get up early, but I go to bed, you know, fairly early. At least I'm in bed, not necessarily asleep, but yeah, we go to bed pretty early. Hubster gets up at 4.30 every day. Weekends, he might sleep until 5, <laughs> but he's an early riser. So we're, we get up early, so I'm, you know, we go to bed earlier than, you know. But I have streamed, I think, I've done a few eight hours on a Saturday or something. I have streamed a few times that, that long. I get on a roll. And, you know, like, what, Monday I streamed six hours. I streamed six hours on Monday. So, okay, so let's see. Yeah, see, that's kind of an orange. It might almost be too orange, but that might be good for a red kind of a glow. You can also do, like, put white down first. Let me show you the difference. Let me find my white. Where's my white? So if I put white down and then put the red on top, see how much brighter that is? See the difference? Or even yellow, let's see about a yellow, if I go yellow and the red on top, that would probably be better for edges. So I think I'm going to go with the yellow and the red. Yeah, he sleeps at the five. <laughs> hey, Ben, sis. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do. So let's just test it. Like, let's go over here around the moon, and let's just start over here in this corner. So my idea is to have, a, like, a red glow. But I'm going to go ahead and put down some yellow because the red will be brighter. 
And I, it doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, I want it to be a glow, not a, not a like flat color. So it's going to be kind of, kind of random, if you will. And it'll probably be down in here a little bit. But the reason this works is because I'm on acrylic paint. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go right along the back. And the reason I'm putting the yellow down first is just to make the red a little brighter. So something like that. Now I'm going to take the poppy red, which is like an orange red. Yeah, this is yellow. This yellow is canary, canary yellow and poppy red. Okay, now I'm going to take the poppy red and go right on top of the yellow. Just to have it like, because I want, I want it red, not yellow. But the yellow is going to give it a little bit more brightness. Because it'll still, see it still shows up on, on there. But that's just a little bit brighter with the yellow underneath. Yeah, I don't do too many marathons. For Here's one thing, though, too, guys. It's because there's so many other streamers. You know, there's a lot of streamers, and we try not to overlap each other. We do our best. And speaking of, does Joycey's, has Joycey come on and says she's streaming today or not? I don't know. Uh, so we try not to overlap. We try to be considerate. Although, you know, occasionally, you know, so, like, for instance, Paula. If Paula came and wanted to stream right now, it wouldn't bother me. You know, she doesn't get to stream that often with her new job. So, you know, we, we are considerate of that kind of thing, too. Or when Jen was visiting me and other people, if that overlapped another streamer, we don't care. You know, and, we're, and most all of us record. So it's not like you can't go back and watch. But we try to think of the other streamers, you know. We try, try to. All right, so you can see here I'm just kind of... And this will be more cool looking, I think, as the, the rest of this gets colored. Right now, I'm just kind of showing you, you know, I probably wouldn't have done this step yet. But I want to show as many little things that you can do as possible. Because you know we're not sitting here finishing this page today. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. And hi, by the way, Sarah. Sarah streams occasionally. Again, see, Sarah does, you know, she streams occasionally, but with her little kids, it's like she can't say, oh, I'm going to stream for sure on so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so, so, just, you know, kind of happens that way. So, something like, a, see, I just want kind of a red glow around everything. Maybe I'll just keep it going around his back. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know that I'll get into the trees. Let's just go ahead and do, again, getting down here in the ditch. It's a little tricky. I'm going to go ahead and go down his back here with the glow. Because he's the one that I really want in the glow, right? So I'm just going to put a little bit in here with the some of the bats are. Because his, his back kind of turns into those bats, right? Gorgeous glow. Thanks, Terry Trouble. And then his tail's over here, so we'll continue. And I want to just kind of subtle. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do it like an outline, you know? So I think I'm just going to keep it all the top of his tail, to the tail there. Now I'm going to go back over it with the red. If you have any questions or anything, put it in caps. I'm just gabbing away here. Anything else going on? I'm 
You can keep a little of the black showing through if you want. I just talk out my process, guys. I know I've had people say, you repeat yourself. You already told us what paint you use and blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't happen often, guys. Most everybody's really nice in the comments. But, you know, every, every now and then I'll get somebody say, you repeat yourself about that. Well, I'm repeating the same process. So when I'm doing a collage, I'm doing a color book, I'm doing a glow. If I'm doing the exact same thing I always do, I'm talking it out. So I'm talking out the process that I happen to be working in at the moment. Know what I mean, Vern? So, again, I'm trying to cover up the yellow because I just wanted that there as kind of a base to make it glow. Yeah, um, uh, the Steam, uh, Bennett Klein Steampunk comes out, what date is it? Somebody just posted it. Yeah, uh, May 20th. Um, so he'll have a Steampunk book out. I'll be ordering it. Have no fear. Bennett Klein will be here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and I know. And then most people say, I'm so glad you repeat yourself because if you miss something, and I have, I actually have a video on all the supplies I use. But, you know, it, it gets, you know, people don't always see it. So it's like, and Marilyn, bless her heart, she tries her best to, like link things up so people can find stuff for and I, I have everything in playlists but um you know people still don't watch every single video i have almost 700 videos so it's not like i expect everybody to watch every one so that i don't repeat myself for goodness sake <laughs> yeah you know it's like oh uh, yeah that person asking that question didn't watch video number 279 <laughs> where I answered it. Uh, uh, thanks, Clarissa. Thank you, hon. <laughs> and it, it really doesn't. Uh, if I get mean comments, I just delete them. I mean, I'll just be honest with you. I don't, I just don't. I don't need that. I don't need that negativity in my life. <laughs> oh. I mean, if it's a constructive criticism or, or a question, I'll answer it, you know, that's, you know, said nicely. If you're just sitting there just, what was it? I got one. The And I don't even really like to talk about it. Talk about mean ones. You get a mean one every now and then. It's like, you know, and 99.9% .9 of the time, any streamer will tell you this or any video YouTuber will tell you this. Most of the time, and I would say 99, at least probably 99% of the time, they're not, they're not video makers themselves. They have, they have no followers. They have no channel. They have no, you know, they're the ones that, you know, have something to say negative. It's always the way, you know always the way. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, so hey Miss Q. Yeah, Jen's an enabler for sure. Jen's reading with pugs. She has an awesome channel too. If y'all want to follow another color book girl, Jen dash reading with pugs. And then there's Laura Anxiety Art Adventures. I'm trying to think of some more right off the top. Um Yes! <laughs> I know, Suzanne. Okay, so there you go. You can kind of see the... And I, I don't even usually address the issue. I really don't. If I get... I just usually just, you know, move, delete them and move on. And the same thing for um, Carrie and I both. Kind of like always have this thing where we never look at our like, our thumbs up and thumbs down. We never look at those. I don't. I, I could not tell you if anybody's given me a thumbs up or a thumb down on any video. I don't look at them. I mean, I mean, I accidentally might see one occasionally, but I never look for thumbs up and thumbs down. I just, you know, do what we do here and keep keep plugging along like I have been for seven years, <laughs> where I started with two followers. Okay, so there we go. That looks kind of good with the red glow. 
right? No. Oh, and Shalene. Shalene is a color -er, color -er -er. <laughs> Okay, so now I want to look up. Let me look up some wolves. Oh, I put my iPad in the other room. Hang on. Well, I could, I could just look it up on my phone. Hang on. Let me go on my phone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's just smaller. Um, all right. Hang on, guys. I'm not checking chat for a second. Do you turn them off and don't? I leave them on. I, I don't mind people leaving thumbs up and thumbs down for other people to see. I just don't pay attention to them. Now my comments, if if they're if they're just like you know trashing you, I just delete them. I don't I don't care. Um, all right, let me go on uh, Safari here. Let me look up uh, wolf. Wolf. <laughs> I just want to do a um, decide if I want. Ooh, that one's a pretty one right there. I like that color. Look at this one, guys. He's kind of gold and brown. It's kind of a little tricky to see, but I'm kind of liking those colors. Look how he's got white under the neck, gold and gray. I mean, it's like it doesn't show up on camera. It looks brown. It looks brown on camera, but on in in person, it looks gold. I think I want some a gold werewolf. I'm liking this color scheme right here. I'm going to save that. I think we're going to go with the gold wolf. Now, here's the thing about gold. <laughs> and we talked about this before. Um, metallic gold paint, you cannot pencil over. So if I want to do any gold like fur, to be gold it's got to be the highlights after the effect so I think what I'm going to do I might do some washes of gray and like a tan color okay so the tan color will end up having gold paint over it after I do all the shading and blending then I'll do gold highlights with gold paint so I might just do a little section here just so you can kind of see it. So let's see if I do neo colors or do I want to just do acrylic paint? Either one. Maybe probably be easier just to do neo colors. All right, so I'm gonna bring my neo colors over here where I still have the colors from my snow scene because I'm not done with the snow scene, so I don't want to put those away. Um, let me just move this out of the way. So I'm thinking I'll go with like a like a an ochre color maybe. Like this is ochre. <laughs> or maybe even one shade dark. No, I want to keep it kind of light because that's what the gold will go on top of. Okay, so let's go with a gold, a brown. I'm just kind of looking at the colors in the picture here and a gray. I, I try to also, another thing I always try to tell y'all too, and I try to remember to do it myself, is, um, yeah, an olive would probably be good too, uh, Mara. An olive color um, and gold on top of it. Let me see what olive here. That's almost an olive color. Maybe those colors. Let's go with that. The reason is, is if you can keep it to a few colors, everything will be more um, you could put Wink Stella, but I really would like, I want it to shimmer with gold. Gold. And again, if I started with gold paint, you cannot put color pencil on top of metallic. That's why I always tell y'all when you buy the Americana Deco Art or whatever brand of craft paint, make sure it's not satin. Oh! Jen's at wait. Tim Horton's waiting for Paul and Carrie. Yay! Do you think they'll be able to stream at all? I'll at least get pictures, Eileen. I'm sure. I don't know if they'll stream from their phone. Anyway, our Jen from uh, Australia who visited me what, a week and a half ago. That y'all, there's a video on that. Uh, she's traveling all over the United States. She and her husband for two months, and uh, now she's in Toronto meeting uh, Paula and Carrie. So, yay. So, anyway, um, 
That's true, Prisma. So when you get um, your craft paint, make sure it's not satin or gloss because your color pencils won't go over satin or gloss paint. That's why I like craft paint for my color books and my collage work because if I use artist grade, the nice binders in those are shiny. And, and your pencil, if you want to use color pencil over the top of acrylic paint, it won't work or very, it won't work well. <laughs> I guess you could dig in and really make it go on there, but um, it won't work on top of shiny paint. So that's why I'm saying if I use shiny gold paint right now, I won't be able to put any pencil. Night, Ozzy, and, and Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably like midnight to 1 a.m. there. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, her phone won't work in Canada? Okay, but she can get Wi-Fi. Okay, thanks, Eileen. So what I'm going to do is, and I think I'll even go with the cream, like a yellowy cream color. So let me tell you the colors I'm going to use for this wolf. And I'm not going to copy it exactly because, you know, I'm, I'm going to make up the body colors. I'm just using the colors that are in his fur here. But look, there's brown here, there's gray here, there's brown there, brown, brown, which is actually, it looks very gold in person. So all these light colors here, these light browns, that's going to be gold. But I'm going to put a base coat all over him first using these colors. So these are the colors I'm going to use. They would be pale yellow. Let's put them down here. Ochre. And I might have to get my um, magnifying glass because when they're, whoa, don't roll, come back here. When uh, they're dark writing on dark paper, I can't read it. This one is get under the light. Just br just brown. Okay, that's just brown. Then this um, olive olive brown. That's the name on it. And again, these are Neo Color Two water soluble crayons. Karn Dosh. It makes sure they're Neo Color Two. Neo Color One are not water soluble. They're just wax crayons. And this one is dark gray. So those are the colors that I'm using. And then I'll get a water brush from over here somewhere. Where's my water brush? And then I just have a Pentel water brush, which still got a little bit in there. And this one's a fine tip, but there's fine, medium, large, and there's different brands. I like the one, the Pentel one. I just like the, the brush seems to hold up well. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with, like, under his muzzle here, where it's kind of a light color. And I, in no particular, I'm not trying to stay in lines. All right, let me move this over. I'm not trying to stay, like, just right here. I mean, you could do that, too, but I really kind of want it all over the place because he is a werewolf. I don't have a lot of space for paint balls, but wanted to try some. I got a set of 32 colors in little pots on Amazon. Very small, but good for backgrounds. It was only $10. There you go. Yeah. And, well, you know, and these are not, and, and I know they do take up a little bit of space, but I have mine. I moved them when Denise was here. I moved them over to um, a couple of trays, and um, uh, I'll show you at the end if someone reminds me. I'll tilt my camera so you can see my paints over there. All right, so I really just want a little, <laughs> look, look at me. I just want a little bit of paint. <laughs> I just want a little bit down his chest here. And then I'll have most of that will be the gold. Which, for the gold, again, I'm going to go with, I need a Kleenex to clean my brush. Just clean my brush with a Kleenex as I go along. Okay. This one is, again, the oak. Uh, is it ochre? Yeah, yellow ochre. And this will be where the gold, it's almost easier to put it in a tray sometimes. I like to scrub it out in a tray to get more concentration. So like putting it on the tray like this and then picking it up. I get it, it's more concentrated like that, see? I mean, you can do this all day long, but you can really get a lot. And you could also just color right on it. Um, that's Laura's technique. 
So you could just, you know, color like this on the whole thing and then just blend it in. Again, don't oversaturate. It's the water. You got to be careful. I'm not squeezing this at all. No squeezy. <laughs> so I'll just put some out because I want to do a little bit of gold for you. And this, and if I wait till I do the whole wolf, we won't do any gold, you know. So he's going to be, let's see, a little bit of tip on his nose, um, a little bit up here on his top of his head. That's where I want most of the gold to be. Down the top of his back, this is where it's going to glow. Okay, but you got to get your shading and everything else in there first. So I'm going to put that down his back. Try to keep under the camera. Okay, so that's going to be, which is the ochre now. I'll dry it and then shade it and then gold it. So let's just get the gold on there right quick, or the ochre. Okay, and it's a little flashed out. Don't give Laura a big. <laughs> it's a little flashed out. See, there's the color more like that. But you know, I wanted to show up. All right, so now I'm going to be a little bit more careful with the gray. So I'll just pull it off of the thing, and under here, under his nose, probably a little bit around his eye here. A little bit in his ear. See, I don't want it just flat color. So now I'm going to also go in here, clean off my brush, and I'm going to go in here with brown as well. So I'm just kind of going back and forth between all the colors. But look how I'm just kind of going over the gray. So it's not like a flat, it's not like like one strand right there is brown and then that one is gray. I'm kind of just, see how I'm just kind of washing over the whole thing? It makes it look the fur more natural. And then also the olive. Now I am cleaning off my brush when I change colors just so that I have pure color when I go in there. Okay. And again, if it's not dark enough, then I'll just scribble it out. Alright, clean the brush. Go back to the gray. I want it around his mouth gray. And then inside his mouth there I'll have red probably. Okay. Now, let's see. How much gray do I want in his body? But it just see how it makes it look more. And then you get in there and shade too. With pencil. Alright, I'm going to get a little bit more of the green color. Kind of a greeny. No particular, um, no particular like individual fur hairs, just kind of all over, all right? Because then it looks more natural. All right, so I'm going to go back with the gray, maybe down in here. But if you want to layer up too much, make sure that it's not oversaturated. It's best to dry it and then put the next layer. All right, now I want to go back to the brown. So I have like gray, brown, and then I'm going to have gold. But I'm going to do that after I, I just, I'll do a section because I want you to see it because before we're done, today. I want you at least to be able to see, you know, a little bit. A little bit more brown on his paw there. Okay. So how's that looking? Laura wants to know if it's bleeding through. No, it's not bleeding through. No, not at all. Here. I can tell you it's not because I've done a multiple pages with the Neo Colors. No bleed through. I've already done a whole bunch of pages with Neo Color. So, and watered down acrylic. All right, so I think I want a little bit of brown right under there, under his lip, just to shadow it up a little before I start, maybe a little in his ear, before I start putting some shade. And his tongue, I can have that red. 
and I can do that with pencil though. All right, so I think that's enough just to do the example. And again, I'll keep these colors separate <laughs> while I'm working on this wool. All right, so let's dry it with the heat gun real quick. You always want to make sure it's dry before you try to go in with pencil. You're welcome, Laura. So now I'm going to kind of pick some of those same colors in pencil. Let me move my trays. Uh, run out of room. Let's see. Let's get a, a probably a sienna color. Okay. It's a, a burnt ochre and or sienna. They're pretty much the same. Uh, oh, they're close enough. And then I need a dark brown. I want a darker gray. That's a warm gray. Then where's my cool gray? gray maybe a lighter gray but not a warm gray it's a warm gray it's a cool gray mm -hmm. or I could even go with this gray I think I'll just go with that all right so and then um, an ochre and then I'll tell you the colors and then because I want to get to golden rattle work um, I want to get to the gold paint on, on a little bit okay so as I again I'll just put a little a little it's going to be gold as well so I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. and this may not even be dark enough it's probably not dark enough I need one shade darker maybe I could do let me test this if I go in there with the little sienna and then the golden rod on top yeah, that'll work. Okay, let me sharpen these colors and tell you what I got here. So I have the um, burnt ochre or sienna. I, I use them interchangeably. Okay. Golden rod or yellow ochre. Golden rod's a little darker brown this is just dark brown I think it's called dark brown and for the gray I'm going with this 70 percent cool gray which is almost a blue gray so those are the colors that I'm going to use do a little shading on him and then we're going to go over it with gold in that area when you are going to post this <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to finish it. I mean, usually, uh, let me put it this way, Deb Colors. On, I, I usually post something on Twitter. Like, I might post a little bit with some pencils showing. But fi completely finished, I have no idea when I finish it. It'll be when I finish it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in the yellow ochre area. And I'm going to start with the... And just shade. Stay in camera. And you can see where, you know, Kirby's put shading in there. So I'm not going to get too much because I want to keep it kind of yellowy color, not too brown in there. But this is the area that's going to have the gold on top of it, the yellow area. Okay, so I'm just going to get in there and just put a little bit of that in there. And then my plan is now to take the golden rod and blend that out. I'll just you just gotta kind of do it one layer at a time. That's the plan. Can't wait to see pictures of Jen and Paula and Carrie. That's gonna be awesome. So glad Jen's getting to meet so many of the fibs, friends in the box. All right, so you can see how. It's still staying yellow, but I got some shadow in there with the brown, with the ochre. I mean the uh, uh, sienna or oak brown ochre. Hard to endure some stream. Oh, sorry, Dot. I'm welcome, by the way. All right, let me keep going down the back. And again, I'm kind of going a little fast here. Don't have to rush. Don't have to go fast when you're coloring at home. Uh, 
I'm just going as far as the where the gold's going to go. Now back with the yellow ochre. And you know, you can kind of blend it in together, like some of the gold into the gray. Because it just looked more natural. Because the fur is not going to be like a, like a zebra stripe, right? It's going to be all mixed in. I think there's going to be a little bit of gold down in here. And there's also some gray in there. So you really want to get all this done before you add the gold. But I'm trying to have a little section done where I can put some gold on top of it. And you can use different gold paints. I don't particularly like the metallic pencils in any of them and and you know I just I, I like nice you know something like either if I want shiny or glittery stickles or um, gold paint that's just me I like gold paint and I like the Americana craft paint colors. They're they're shiny and gold. Although there's some nice watercolor ones. There's those uh, I bought them for Cam for Christmas. He wanted them. They're the um, they're little. You can get them on jet pens. Uh, is Janet still here? Janet would probably know what those gold paints that you can get on uh, watercolor paints that you can get on uh, jet pens. I keep wanting to say try something, but I'm not sure. Bailey J uses them. Who else? But anyway, Cam, um, his art teacher said, oh, you need to get some of this gold for some project. And so I bought it for him for Christmas. Um, and I should order myself some. And Janet will need to order. She'll, fine tech. Thank you, Cable Claire. Fine tech. Yeah. And uh, Janet and I will both have to order us some of that. <laughs> Uh, fine tech, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a that's good, good Ben, Ben sis. <laughs> okay, um, all right. I I don't want to get too far down in here because I don't I don't know how far I want any gold to be. Probably right along the top here though. Let me just add a little bit of pencil here because I think I'm going to want a gold right along the edge. Fine tech, yeah. Uh, Cam, got him, I bought him some for Christmas, but I haven't really... He did a little quick sample for me, but um, I haven't used them. And they're really shiny gold watercolors. And so... But today, we're going to be using... <laughs> today, we'll just be using Splendid Gold... Americana or well it's deco art metallics and these come in silver gold copper a whole bunch green a whole bunch hey Orla Janice oh okay thanks Kimberly okay so that's all I want to do with the the gold right now because I want to paint for you before we go all right so now I'm going to take the gray and I want to do a little bit of the shading in the gray. And this is the cool gray, 70%, I think. It's kind of almost like a blue gray. So I'm going to get the shadows in there. And you notice I'm going over some of the brown. You can just go in there in different areas. Don't get it, like, striped. You want to kind of keep it, like, jump around with the colors so that there's a little bit of gray in the gold, a little bit of brown in the gray, that kind of thing. And it, it's easy to do this once because you did the wash. And because you have the wash on there, then it's already all kind of mixed up. So you're not having to worry about following a pattern or anything. It's already kind of there for you. Okay. But you want to put the gold on last because there's no, you can't get pencil. It's just not going to be good over a shiny paint. So let's just get a little in there, a little bit on his nose.
Any questions or anything, guys? So we're getting ready to kind of wrap it up pretty soon. But I try to post pictures of everything. All right, now I'm going to go to the dark brown. Well, you know what? No, let's go with the light gray first. Go back to the light gray and kind of feather in some of the dark gray. I try to post pictures as I finish things. I do have a color book folder on Facebook. It's public, so even if you don't follow me, or I don't follow you, or vice versa, on Facebook, you can still uh, see my color book album. All right, now I'm going to go in there with the dark brown, and just kind of going in there in the same way. And again, I'm just kind of following where those washes were. So it's not like, where do I put the brown? Where do I put the gray? I've already put washes on. And you can take more time and get it a little bit more individual fur. Like that. See how it's kind of coming along? And see, I haven't really decided here if I want that more gold. And I want this gold because it's in the light. But under here, I'm thinking I don't want gold. All right, now I need a like a light brown, like a tan color. Um, I have to go get one out of a pencil, banded up pencil. I need a light brown. Hang on. Almost a tan color. Oh, this will probably work. Let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, light umber. Just so I can kind of blend out the dark brown. Okay. But I want to do, you know, I'm all about sharing ideas of ways to do things. Even if we don't finish full on color book pages, you don't need to see me finish a full on color book page if you got the idea of where to go with it because no two they're not going to look the same even if you tried to follow exactly you know what I mean it's not going to happen so if you get the idea then you can take it and run with it yourself all right I almost need just a flesh cut, like cream color or just like a light peach yeah light peach just to kind of blend out some of that brown because I don't want to get it too dark I want to I want to keep those a little bit of highlight I want them to have some highlights <laughs> so you can see how we're going here right and again let me hold it up because it's a little flashed out like that he's gonna be gorgeous <laughs> um, I think I need just a little bit more because once I go in here with the gold, you know, I can't get back in there and get those darks that I might want now. Okay. Same thing for like right on his knuckle here. A little variation in color right along there. Okay, so now let's put a little bit of gold paint. I'll shake, always shake them up good, especially the metallics. Can you do a zig clean, clean in the look again? In the lookbook, Chatty Natty? Yeah, I haven't used the, um, I haven't used the uh, zigs for a while. Okay, now I don't need much. Don't need much. And I'm probably not going to water it down much either. I want to try to try to keep it as because it'll be translucent without uh, without water. So I'm just going to try to 
let's test it out here if it seems to if it covers up the black lines too much I gotta get my brush wet though if it covers up the lines of the of the uh, color book page then you need to water it down so because you know I don't know what kind of paint you're using but what I want to do and I gotta make sure I can there I can see I gotta tilt it so I can see it. Oops. so I can see where I'm going but as long as it's translucent enough or you know see-through enough and I'll tilt the page in a minute so you can see it I have to tilt the page so I can see it for a minute because right now you probably can't see any of the gold but it'll show up when I tilt it for you and I'm not I'm kind of rough, making it a little rough I don't want it just necessarily a flat let's see what I'm saying here so let me tilt it so I can see it it's because it's hard to see where the the shine is all the way down his back maybe just a few little again do this at the very end of your page not while you still want to add more color <laughs> and then right along the edge of his body want it to glow one moment So I hope y'all enjoyed this and also my Mad Rat Emma sketch earlier. Okay. And I think there may be a little bit in there, but I don't want to go, I don't want to put too much in there now because I'm not done coloring in there. All right, so here we go. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and back out and then hold it up. I think that would be better. Where's my mouse? So many colors all over. Okay. Hang on, guys. Let me back it out a little. Because I want you to be able to see the shine. And let me go to some right light. There we go. Hopefully we're focused. All right. There. See the gold on his arm there and all right so there's the this is what the page looks like when it's not flashed out <laughs> and then if I tilt it you can see where the shine is on the body see at the top and his arm I'm trying to get it to glow there we go there there we go see it <laughs> it will be stunning when it's done I think because right there's what you see like that's a true color right there but my daylight bulb is like right there so that it keeps it bright right so there you go and I'll have it go down his back so yeah so I'm liking it so I hope you all enjoyed that bit of example again we didn't get to any bats um, I'm going to like let me do one bat here I'll do one bat and hold it up for you so they all have a light gray on them and now I'm gonna put a little bit of medium gray but I still want to keep a little bit of highlight on the little fella and then I'll go with my black Oh, that's dark brown. I need black. So you can kind of see how you can do kind of a almost like a crosshatch effect on the little bats. Go back to the dark gray.
something like this. I'm a little more black in here. So if you do every bat like this, so you can see here's one just with the light gray wash, or not wash, but color pencil, and then there's one colored in. See? And I'll do all of them like that. Leave a little, see, just leave a little bit of the light color as a little highlight, like on his face, maybe a little bit in a wing, and then like along the top of a wing, and then that's all the way to black. And then in between is a dark gray. So you're going from light, to light gray, dark gray, black, and then just kind of blend. You could put a couple little lines, like, you know how bats, you can kind of see their, their membranes like that you can maybe put a couple of those in there like that okay guys I'm gonna head out I hope you all enjoyed this thanks everybody for being here thanks mods for modding <laughs> and thanks everybody for being here um, I don't know if, how if I'll work on it over the weekend or I might want to work on a different page Again, I'll do. Let me do a quick little uh, flip through what we have done and see how fluffy it's getting. Look, <laughs> well, that doesn't bother me at all. But I mean, I can mash it down, put some books on top of it, and it'll flatten out some. But so I've got a wash here. Again, this is just your initial wash, and I want it all modeled like that. I don't. I want it to look watercolory, so that when I go in there, it will kind of retain that. Okay, same thing for this page. Then this page is the same. It's got that watercolory look. But then because because it's got the uh, acrylic paint, I can do like let me just do one little fish here. See how I can go back on there with white, and you can even put a little bit of a like let's say he's going through the water. If I don't like this, I'll paint over it. But. I just want you to kind of see what you can do. Like they're kind of going through the water. You can do all kinds of things like that. And then um, this page is done. I haven't posted this one yet. I was debating whether to wait and finish both of them. But I might just post this one. Okay, so there's that one, and that's all speckles with marker, water-based, the super tip Crayola. Okay, and then this one's just got a wash on it. This one is the one we're working on with the stickles in the snow and the trees. So you can see these trees. There we go. There's the color. See how the trees are half light and half shadowed? So it's gone from this to that in the trees okay and then we did the snow the river the river's got stickles in it the tops of the mountains and the stars have stickles again it's best to wait till you're completely done to do that and uh this is the one we're working on now and then my dragon that i finished this one and i did post a double page spread and a single page here so they're posted as well no stickles or anything shiny on this one so that's what we got done so far oh I was gonna show you how let me move my lamp here and I'll show you how I have my paints so I do have a paint cart for extra paints and uh, so this isn't all of them, but it's, let me move the lamp over. But this is how I have my um, setup. Hang on, guys. Let me see. Maybe I'll just take the camera off. I'm covering up the camera for just a minute, just so I don't make you dizzy taking it off, okay? All right, so here's my table right here, which I painted blue to make, hopefully, the light better. And then right up here, there's my pencil shavings, my thing. See, I just painted it up to there. So here are my paints. All right, let's see if I can get the light here. 
there's my it's much brighter here in person but <laughs> there and then up here let's see if I can lift this up <coughs> up here well it's not really I need a flashlight oh wait you know what hang on it's not a flashlight but this little lamp so there we go so <laughs> there are my paints see there's a computer right there and then there's a shelf this is a white shelf and then then I have up here are li the little tubs of paint right along the top there so this is where it's like within arm's reach even though I have to reach over you guys because I'm like literally right here so this is where I'm streaming then I just reach up here and get my paints. This is where you guys are. There's the camera cord. And then this is what my desk looks like at the end of the session. Session. There's my fan over there. So I just got it layered up and piled up right there. So, yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> well, that's just for my paints. I've done room tours. So, y'all have seen my room before. Um, but... Yeah, so it's just right there. You know, extra lids here and there, you know. So, okay, guys, I'm going to head on out. I hope you all enjoyed that, and we'll see you at other streamers. Streams. Yeah, me and Denise redid it because they were behind me on another cart and another shelf, and I rearranged my room all the time because now, see, here's the window over here, my fan. And so this is my six foot long table right here. <laughs> so yeah. Okay guys, thanks for being here. And we'll see you later. Y'all have a good day, a good hump day. And uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, very rarely. It's mostly, it gets cold quick, would it? Okay guys, see you later. Bye.